Hey everyone, today is an important day because today is the second birthday of my oldest boy, Ilios. Today, Ilios turns two years old. That's pretty good because in the wild, rats rarely get to live to one year old. Two years old is pretty good. It's a pretty nice feat. Uh, so... That's my boy Ilios. He's just pretty, pretty spry for a two-year-old. Sometimes I think he's gone a little senile, but physically he's is, is, is pretty good. Uh, he's uh, pretty good at climbing, not so good at jumping anymore. Although it's it's weird, he has a, a paralyzed tail. As you can see, his tail doesn't work really well above uh, uh, or below this part. Uh, his tail has been paralyzed for a really long time. Started when he was a kid. I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea how it happened and why. But yeah, it's been the case for like, yeah, since since he was little. So uh, he's, uh, it's not, it's never got worse. So I think it's fine. Uh, so let's, let's introduce I mean, not really introduced because they've been here for a long time, but some of the other guys. That's kind of a Meet My Rats video. That's uh, what I wanted to do for the second birthday of Ilios. So that's Curie, name of Marie Curie, the famous scientist who discovered radioactivity and all that shit. Uh, she was not supposed to be here. It's a kind of um, an accident or, or a mistake, you know. Um, like most years, I went to the pet shop. The same pet store as I've been going for four years. It's a very good and reputable pet store. I trust them. So that's why I didn't check when I got three boys. And, um, well, one of the boys turned out not to be a boy. And uh, I think... Given the day she gave birth, she was probably already pregnant the day I purchased her. Or if that's not the case, she got pregnant like right the day I bought her. Or maybe like in the transport from the pet store to my house. I'm not, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I remember she gave birth on April 24th, 2019. So I must have gotten her in early April. So she's a little older than one year old now. And uh, she's like she's she's really sweet and calm. Uh, she's um, you know she's kind of like one of the boys. She is yeah really really chill. And uh, I remember one day when I was coming back from the veterinarian with her in my hand. It was about one year ago. Uh, she had to, I don't remember what, but uh, yeah, I was walking from the veterinarian to my home because it was like. Um, the day the, the day was really sunny and warm, and I went to the vet on foot. I, it took me about 45 minutes, and I really enjoyed it. It's a very sunny day, and um, on our way back, there's suddenly, like, very dark clouds, and a, a fucking thunderstorm, like, really harsh, so raining like hell, and she was in my hands, and she didn't budge she seemed completely fine with it as a general rule rats like water and they're not afraid of the thunderstorms like dogs are um, but yeah she was really really chill and uh, a, a pleasure to be with I've taken on I've taken her on some walks uh, since here's her brother is uh, Louis Pasteur and uh, yeah he's kind of the same he's a bit jumpy and he can be nervous at times but he's really he's really chill he's not um like he may be nervous but he's not skittish and he's not afraid of things you know is it just likes to move uh, but he's he's really cool he's really nice and uh, it's probably i'm not the kind of person to play favorites uh, uh, since the other ones are right here i don't want to say that too loud but he's one of the best rats i've ever had it's like it's really nice he's really cool love him uh and um yeah he's uh very healthy as well if i uh, had to choose a, a reproducer i would probably choose him uh although I'm, I'm not sure i want to do that soon so yeah uh, uh, i got enough i got enough rats for the moment and i probably got enough for a while so that pasta is really nice when i uh, got him his hair was like really brown and it's it's been getting 
quite gold at some point and now it's getting darker again it's uh it's pretty common in rats the coats will change color as they age uh i had one rat his name was eclair uh i got him he was like dark brown he looked like a chocolate eclair that's what that's where he got his name and um as he aged quickly he became like really silvery white so i'm just gonna get you at, at random um I'm just gonna get them one by one as I can grab them. I was gonna do like age, uh, uh, you know, chronological order, oldest first, but he, that's PlayStation. He's one of my young. He was born in uh, late August, so he's uh, eight months old now. So basically, he just became an adult. He's very fluffy, so when I, you know, it's, I think it's double Rex. Not sure, but his coat is like it's um, well, it, looks, it looks gray on camera. I'm looking at the viewfinder, and his coat looks really gray, but in real life, it looks like a, a brownish, um, kind of like candied chestnuts, you know, marron glacé, you know, that that's that's the color. It looks, it looks much more gray on camera than in real life, that's weird, but um, yeah, PlayStation, he is uh, he's not really nice he's not really an asshole either he's like one in the, uh, in the middle and he's not really calm and he's not really agitated either he's, he's like kind of in the middle for all all the the classic uh rat uh benchmarks you know he's an average rat he's uh he's got a short snout and uh very curly hair but in terms of character in terms of personality um you know, it's just a nice boy. It's just a nice lad, and uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, uh, especially he was. He was kind of an asshole when he was younger, but uh, now that he became an adult, he's he's really nice. Uh, here's another one. This one's called Luigi. Uh, he was one of the last to be born at the very end of the month of August 2019. So he's also eight months old at that point, and um, yeah, this one's kind of. This one kind of, you know, kind of a problem for me because he tends to uh, escape and uh, go to places he should not be going. You know, when you don't, when you look at him, when you're when you're taking care of him, he's nice. But if you look elsewhere, it's gonna he's gonna go wherever and start some shit. So uh, yeah. He's easy to take care of one on one, but if I if I have to like leave the cage open and to clean it or something like this, uh, he can be it can be a little bit of a difficulty. He's he's quite cuddly though, despite the fact that he's like one of these free spirits who don't really understand the concept of boundaries. Most rats do understand boundaries really well, so uh, yeah. Fortunately, guys like him are a minority. But. He's, he's still he's still cool. It's relatively cool. So yeah, I've had so much worse. Hey, so here's a really nice lad, really nice boy. His name is Xbox. He's uh, he's one of my most calm and nice rats. Really cuddly, really soft, and uh, never does anything wrong. Xbox, really great rat. Uh, saying he was born in late August 2019, like most of the rest I have at the moment. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's a little sick right now. Uh, I hope he's gonna get better soon. Or already seen the vet and gave him some medicine, so, uh, I, yeah, he, he looks nice. Look at his eyes, look at his little bitty peepers. Yeah, good boy, nice boy. Really like him. We, uh... We spend a lot of time together because it's like really easy to deal with, you know. He uh, he he's not skittish at all. He's not nervous. He doesn't escape. He doesn't go anywhere. So uh, it's a, it's a pleasure to uh, to have. Uh, which is this? Uh, oh, this one is ketchup. Ketchup. So he's a little older. He's one year old now. Uh, he was he was born in um, late April, uh, twenty nineteen. So he's just turned one a few days ago. And uh, yeah, Ketchup's nice. Ketchup is a nice guy. He is quite calm. He uh, he sleeps a lot. This guy sleeps a lot. Like I see him taking naps all the time, everywhere. That 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 guy that guy naps 
really is a is one of the the siesta aficionados uh really really cool quite fluffy not too fluffy um and uh yeah overall this is a nice guy this is a nice guy nice boy and uh, he's sweet so that's ketchup um who else uh who else who is that that's um lamarck that's one of my older ones uh, so a little older than one year old uh, he is uh, he's a little skittish so he do doesn't like to he's, he's shy uh, he's not gonna like being put in the limelight like this so uh, I'm not gonna take him out of the cage for too long he's, he's, yeah he's, he's a shy sir you see so uh, he, he's nice he's, he's one of the nicest he's also really clumsy he's got a sprained ankle right now uh, he, he I've seen him with stupid wounds. I don't. Sometimes I don't even know how he hurts himself like this, because uh, it's most rats are spry and with good balance, and um, he, he seems he seems fine most of the time. It's, it's, it's weird. It's a little clumsy, a little shy, and uh, it's it's really sweet. He's really sweet. One of the guys. He was he was totally an asshole when he was young. He he was difficult to, to deal with, but since he became an adult, it's really sweet and nice. That's Lamarck. So I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get him back to the cage because he's really shy and he's not comfortable being the center of attention. Uh, here's Barbecue. This is my biggest boy. Uh, he just turned one a few few uh, days ago. He's the same from the same litter as Ketchup. So. Uh, these are the the children of uh, Curie that I showed you earlier. So um, that's Barbecue. Uh, his personality, well, he's quite um, sweet, not very bright, a little fat. It's, just, it's weird because like he's got a brother. Actually, you should see them uh, at the same time because they look a lot similar. That's barbecue, that's mayonnaise, but barbecue is like twice the size of mayo, which is weird since mayo eats all the time. This one's a glutton and barbecue, I rarely see him snack. He's, he's not a, a, a food maniac like some rats are. So why, why does it look like this? I don't know. I don't know. He's healthy though. He is really healthy and he's nice. He's got his stupid little face. Uh, some like it. Some don't. Personally, I'm quite fond of it. And uh, yeah, he is chill. He's really chill. Uh, a few days ago, I was with him because it was really sunny outside. So I went in a courtyard. Hashtag social distancing. Hashtag stay home. But yeah, I went in a courtyard of my building with him and he like fell asleep in the sun in my arms. That's, that's a rat that is chill enough to fall asleep in your arms. That's rare. Because, you know, rats will get on your shoulder. They like being carried around, most of them, stuff like this. But really falling asleep while you're holding them, that's rare. That's really cool. So, as I was talking, uh, this is mayonnaise. That's his bro. Uh, also, you, you born late uh, April, obviously, because <laughs> twins, whatever. Uh, so, he turned one recently. And uh, his, 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 this guy is like so sweet. He's a little bit of um, how do you say, um, a doormat. So sometimes uh, his cage mates take advantage of him, like like stealing his food or stuff like this. So uh, he's a little too sweet. Sometimes I think he should stand up for himself a little more. Uh, I uh, so it's 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 hard to help, but he's really really sweet and nice. That's, uh, that's mayonnaise. Um, so, who else, who did I not show? Uh, yeah, come here, you. So that little guy is dog. Uh, he is 
eight months old and uh, yeah he's uh, he's from the last litter was born in uh, in the end of August 2019 he's uh, he's nice he's really nice he's a little nervous and skittish not one of the most nervous or skittish but still more than average but he's also like really sweet and nice uh, with me as well as with his cage mates and uh, yeah he likes to he likes to take naps um, and he's he's relatively chill despite his uh, skittishness so that's dog he's also quite photogenic you see him in pictures often because he likes to pose sometimes I wonder if it's like just you know so afraid of the the camera uh, he's just I, re I I noticed that like some some cameras um, noises they don't like they don't like the noise of the autofocus I cannot hear it but whenever I'm focusing the camera I see a lot of rats like tense up it's weird uh, but yeah that's that's how it is who else the Mojito Expanded Universe is sponsored by Pal Treat. They're an apparel company from the USA who make really cool shirts like this one. They have all that ironic, vaporwave, sad boy anime aesthetic that you love. And if you use my affiliate links in the description, I get a nice kickback from the sales profits. Now, I am not yet famous enough to grant you a discount, but hey, free shipping worldwide. Thanks to Palm Tree for sponsoring this video. Who did I miss? This guy is Jaguar. Uh, he looks like mayo and barbecue and ketchup, but he's actually much younger. And um, he's, uh, he's also one of these kind of average rats. He's not one of the most calm and he's not one of the most agitated. He's not one of the sweetest and he's not an asshole. He's kind of in between. And uh, generally, uh, he's, uh, he's pretty nice. He used to be. He used to be not, not very nice when he was younger. But he's one of these rats who mellow out a lot as they age. And now he's becoming an adult. As much much nicer uh, than uh, it's not really much nicer because he always was nice but he's uh, he's getting quieter more calm less agitated so that, that that's pretty nice uh, we uh, we've been uh, spending more and more time together as he ages because sometimes rats they don't they're shy or skittish or nervous and uh, they don't want they don't really want to spend time with humans sometimes they don't even like to spend time with other rats it seems so uh hey here's one i haven't shown that's dr freeman dr gordon freeman this one's like really nervous and skittish so uh i'm just gonna show you real quick this guy has this weird coat his fur is a little strange um but yeah he's it looks like he's wounded but that's that's just his fur that's just how his fur is uh there's a some of his fur is like a weird mix of brown and gray and white so it looks pink uh so yeah and also he's uh he was born with extra toes uh so it's called polydactyly it's a harmless uh genetic mutation and uh yeah that's dr freeman i'm not gonna show if i'm not gonna show him for too long because he's one of the shy skittish ones that prefer to stay hidden in a dark corner of the cage most of the time so who else there's knuckles knuckles is like the 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 last boy and he's like the most skittish shy bashful all you want rat i ever had so you're not even going to be able to see him today because he's like hidden in a in a corner of the cage and he's like he won't let himself be caught uh it, it, he's a little hard to uh, reach as a general rule he's always put himself like I think he's in the one of these tubes or uh, I can't, I, can't, I know he's here but I cannot I, I won't be able to get to him um, and that that is the best depiction of his personality that you the knuckles he's hidden He's always hidden. He, today he's hidden, 
Yesterday he was hidden. Tomorrow will still be hidden. Uh, he's still he's still alive. Uh, so I know that sometimes he gets out of his little hidey hole to eat and drink. But honestly, I rarely see him. Like legit, I rarely see him, and I almost never interact with him because he's always hidden. Uh, so then you got the girls. Uh, so. That's ah, uh, that's Odyssey. Odyssey is real nice. Uh, she's one of the nicest. She is also one of the least shy uh, of the girls. She appreciates being let out and uh, spending some time with me, or just napping in a corner of the house. Uh, she's yeah, she's really cool. Girls in general are more nervous, more active, more aggressive also than boys. Uh, so uh, it can it can be you know it can be nice in certain cases. Like for example, they're more they tend to be more interactive, you know. And less boys like they like to eat, nap, cuddle. Uh, but if you want to teach your rat tricks, you better get girls because they're more uh, into that whole reward and interaction process uh someone's fighting not sure who not sure why anyway that's odyssey uh she's uh sometimes i call her odi because like the the dog in, in garfield because her name is odyssey and uh she's a little uh dog like so it works i i think i think she's not very smart but she's, like she's like really nice so uh, she's a pleasure uh, who else? Who else? Oh, yeah, that's Lara Croft. The, the, her and Odyssey have very similar personalities. So, uh, yeah, Lara Croft is like the, the explorer of the team. She loves to climb and go everywhere. Uh, but she's also really interactive and nice and sweet. Uh, so, uh, yeah, she's basically like Odyssey, but more uh, physically active. Like, she really loves to climb. And uh, you know, run everywhere, but but in a in a nice in a nice way. And uh, yeah, she's really she's really sweet. Usually, when I open the cage, the first to come to me to come greet me is either Lara or Odyssey, uh, or the third one. Uh, that's Tapenad. That's uh, the mother of um, Odyssey. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, there was like kind of a, a, a breach because I separated the girls and boys early. But at some point, uh, she was the one who breached the... the I, I put like a, a planche with rocks and shit on it between the, the girl cage and the boy cage. And somehow she managed to uh, go there and uh, get pregnant. Uh, I, got, I went to the vet, asked for uh, abortions. But somehow it didn't work. Not sure why. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, we use the 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 good old Ru four eight six. Maybe he fucked up the dosage. I don't know. It was like in middle of August, so everyone was on a holiday. It was not my ordinary vet. It was just some guy that the only vet in the city that was somehow still open on the fiftieth of August. So Tapenad is usually usually she's nice she's uh energetic but not too much and uh yeah she's pretty cool so that's blanket that's uh the sister of tapenade also one of the children of uh curry and um so yeah she's uh one year old and uh, she's uh yeah she's the weird one she's i don't know man she's just weird Sometimes I just put her, like, when I open the cage, often she gets out, but not as in, uh, hey, I'm just going to stretch my legs. She just falls on the floor and she keeps walking as if nothing had happened. She do she will do this if I put her on a chair or on my bed or wherever. Uh, she just walks and sometimes she fell, falls on the floor and she keeps walking. Uh, but not as in uh, escaping and not wanting to be caught. When I, when sometimes when a rat escapes, when I come to grab them, they like hide as fast as possible. She doesn't fucking move. 
I come, she looks at me, barely notices I'm here. I grab her. Sometimes she keeps walking on my fucking arm. Uh, yeah, she's a bit, she's a bit weird. Uh, but generally, she's quite sweet. That's Blanquette. She's she's very chill. She's very chill. That's, that's to her credit. She's really calm and quiet, especially compared to the other girls. Uh, so who else? Oh, that's the absolute opposite. This dream, Dreamcast. Uh, she is very nervous, very skittish. Does not like being grabbed, as you can hear. And uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be real quick. That's Dreamcast. She's kind of an asshole. Next. That's Mega Drive, a sister. Uh, she is not as skittish, although m more skittish than average. Uh, she's she's quite shy. Some days she is not so shy, but as a general rule, she is shyer than average. So uh, yeah, she looks a lot like Tapenad, but blacker. Tapenad's like actually that brown. I, I'm not sure if it if it's. Easy to see on the camera. Oh yeah, you can see the difference. Tapenad's is brown, and this um, Mega Drive is like really black. Um, so, who else? Who did I miss? Um, that's Dreamcast, Tapenad, Blanket, Lara Croft. Oh, Tetra. That's that's the last girl. Um, she is. One of these rats that are like in the middle, you know? Not too shy, not too extroverted, not really calm, not really agitated. She's a rat, she's an average rat. She's pretty nice, she's pretty cool. Uh, honestly, she was like really skittish and shy when she was younger. And uh, now that she's becoming an adult, uh, she's more uh, normal, I would say. So that's pretty cool. That's Tetra. That's all the girls, right? I see Dreamcast, Mega Drive, yes. Blanquette, Tapenade, yes. Odyssey, Lara Croft, yes. I showed you all the girls. I'm gonna try to get Knuckles just to be able to show you his stupid little face. Uh, but hello, everyone. It's Luigi, Helios. Mayo, RBQ, PlayStation, Jaguar, Freeman, QZ, Pasta, Xbox. That must be fucking Knuckles. Come here, bitch. And who is in here also? Oh, there's also Pac Man. That's weird because Pac Man's like really extroverted. And usually when I open the cage, he's one of the first boys to come and, and greet me with his little snout. But maybe he's like, just sleeping. Uh, sometimes you're, you're sleeping like. I'm in really deep sleep and uh, I'm making noise, opening the cage door, shuffling things around. Some, some of them, I especially ketchup. Like this guy sleeps, really. But it's quite common for most rats to be sleeping like really deeply. And when you make noise or move around them, they don't wake up. They, they when when they when they're really asleep, it's hard to to wake them up. You gotta really you know uh, make exaggerated noises and sometimes nudge them a little bit. So um, yeah, there's uh, Knuckles in the tube hiding with Pac-Man and uh, Xbox. Xbox, you've already seen him. Um, so Pac-Man and Knuckles. Yeah, that, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird because Pac-Man is like, he loves to go out, spend time with me or free roaming or, you know, just stretch his legs, climb on the cage. So um, he must be having some really good nap. So I'm not going to wake him up. And you'll see him probably in an upcoming video. Hey, uh, so Pac-Man has woken up. So I'm going to... I'm gonna get into the camera. Uh, just for a few seconds. That's Pac-Man. He's got a hair. That's Pac-Man. Uh, he was called Pac-Man because he has dots on his back. It's quite funny. 
uh, kind of like a cow. It, it looks kind of cool. Uh, he was like really agitated when he was little, always trying to, uh, you know, escape and go everywhere. Uh, it kind of still is like this, but not quite as much as when he was little. He's calmed down a lot uh, when he became an adult. I mean, is he an adult? Yeah, kind of is an adult. Yeah. It's, it's hard to tell exactly at what age rats become adults. Some people say eight months, some say nine months. I've seen 10 months. I've seen also a little less. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a little bit hard because uh, their, their puberty is actually really slow. Like it starts really early and it ends really late compared to a lot of animals. So uh, it's, uh, it's Pac-Man, it's Pac-Man. He is exceptionally calm today because he just woke up. Like I shot the video like less than a half an hour ago. So he, he just woke up a few minutes ago. And uh, so he's still a little bit groggy from the sleep. And uh, yeah, that's Pac-Man. He is very extroverted, very um, interactive, loves to go out, run, play. Uh, he's probably the most interactive rat I have. When I open the cage, he's almost always one of the first to come and greet me. So thanks for watching. That was Meet My Rats, the May 2020 confinement and quarantine edition. Um, I, I should have written some kind of conclusion to end this video but i forgot as always so thanks for watching i think i already said that uh, oh yeah no i remember actually i, I made a, a, a special little clip to put at the end of all my videos so um here's the clip one please the like button leave a comment to tell why